Welcome back to another video from the uh, Tunnel Project series. I have modeled a new TV that I think has slightly better topology, not much, and I just feel like it's going to fit the scene a little bit better. So what I want to do right now is I want to uh, UV unwrap this and texture this and put it in this little mini scene of assets along with the speaker cabinet and the electrical and stuff like that. So here's the TV. I'm going to go into edit mode and we're going to mark some seams on this. Control E, mark seam there. I think I will come to maybe the middle one of this because there's five, so it's easy to do. And I'm going to grab the middle ones here and here and here. And I'm going to mark those and maybe we can come in here and just separate this out a little bit as well. That middle uh, middle edge there and that middle edge there and uh, I think maybe along the front we'll do one as well maybe I can grab that middle one and I want to get this whole intersection where the screen would be so I'm going to mark that and then I'm going to come down here and let's do the inside of this Let's, let's do the outside of this as well. And maybe we can, maybe we, uh, maybe we can cut it here too and see what that looks like. I just do one. And then for the knobs, I'm going to come into the very center and uh, mark seam there and there. And on this little sort of power light thing, I'm just gonna come to right around there let's see if i got that that'll help me with applying textures as well let's let's just have a look at that and see if that does the job reasonably so that that's okay that gives me this stuff now uh these pieces i'm not crazy about so i want to try after having done all that i also want to try smart uv project and just see if I happen to like it better. And you know what? I do like that actually better. The only thing, after taking you through that, that I don't really like is the knobs. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the knobs separately. I'm gonna select little pieces of this. Uh, let's see if I've got all of that. I think, do I also have that? Yeah, I do. And so for that, I'm just going to unwrap those separately. And that does that. Let's scale it down a little bit. And then maybe I'll take the whole thing and pack it. And that gives me that. The knobs are a bit bigger. And, and that may be fine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it. All right, so I'm going to save that. So I put some seams. Some of those will be helpful in putting down textures and I smart UV projected it and we're going to see how well that works for this particular model. So I'm ready to convert that to an FBX and bring it into Substance Painter. All right, I baked the mesh maps and it's looking pretty good so far. So let's go ahead and get started. I think to be consistent with the speaker, I will, first of all, turn on anti-aliasing. I'm going to use that grainy plastic We'll drop it on everywhere, and then we'll come in here. I'm going to switch this to triplanar, and let's change the scale to about five, and maybe even more, maybe even six, so we have that on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a different sort of plastic on the knobs and we'll do something different on the screen as well so we got that now i'm going to use this plastic mat and i'll change that to a you know almost a black kind of color maybe darker we'll see i don't want it everywhere so i'll add a black mask and come over here and switch to mesh and we'll put it there and um Let's see if that's what I want. Okay, so I'm getting the um, I'm getting the the height information on here from here, and so what I'm going to do uh, simply is I'm going to add a black mask here, 
and uh, select this and I've got that you know just on there and I've got this here and I think maybe on this maybe I'll drop the roughness a bit so they're a bit shinier all right I want the white in there oh but I also want on here so let's come back to here and for now we'll just select all of that then I'll do something else on the top all right so the, what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this and I'm going to clear the mask and I'm going to make this a whitish color like that and here I'm going to switch this to UV chunk and put that there and that's fine for now we'll come back to that in a little bit just wondering in there I just had a feeling about not that <clears throat> just X that and I just had a feeling I wanted the plastic in there I don't know if that's gonna look good but I think it might all right let's move on to the screen anyhow so I'm gonna to come to my smart materials and I'm gonna search for glass I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here yet if I'm gonna put some kind of graphic in there but for now I'm gonna drop that on there add a black mask and put that in there Let's come back to here, X, and just get rid of that material on there. So I've got that, and let's open this up and up the roughness so we have just that effect. Okay, so I've forgotten that thing back there. So let's come back to here and uh, put that here. I'll switch to that. Okay, so we just have something back there. All right, so far so good. Um, let's do let's do some edge edge detail on here. Let's create a fill, and we'll use just color here, and we'll leave it at this sort of white color, and a black mask a generator. Let's just try metal edges, and zoom out a bit. Let's adjust the smoothness, maybe. That's fine. I'll use triplanar. And I'm going to drop down this here. So there's just a hint of it on the edges. And that's probably okay. The only thing I want to do is that. There we go. All right, so just a slight light tinge on the outside there all right uh, we'll also okay so this is edges and uh, this is uh, we'll call this uh, knob white we'll call this knob black we'll call this uh, grainy black glass that's fine edges let's do some dirt and then we'll put the label on here color and roughness I'll do a dark brown again so that it's not so black we'll try that and see how it looks and we'll just use uh, no that's not what I want to do we'll just use the dirt generator and see how it looks when it comes on here a little bit on the screen is fine and because I'm, I if I do a graphic I'll probably do it in blender it'll cover that whole thing up but I might just leave it like that but I could adjust the roughness and the color later I just want a little bit of that dirt in there and let's um, let's snap into orthographic and look at the front and uh, so this is dirt I'm gonna add a new layer just a regular layer of paint layer and I'm going to use just color and it's going to be not bright bright white but down to about there and I'm going to bring in a PNG of an image I guess it's obvious this one this Sony just downloaded from the internet I'm going to define it as an alpha just to the current session and there it is and up that 
and I'm just going to stamp that down there so it says Sony. All right, I'll go back into perspective view. All right, so that is going to be Sony. Ah, Sony. I think I'm going to do one more alpha over here just to take up some space. So I'm actually going to go back into orthographics, snap to there. I'm going to put something down here. So let's do just another paint layer, but this one I want just height this time. I'm going to drop this down. And in my alphas, I'm going to search for lines. And uh, actually, no, I'm not. Uh, which one is it? This one here, I'll lower that down. Let's just see what it's like if it's approximately the width of the rectangle. Let's try it like that. Okay, and I think I'll keep that. I'm gonna call this alpha. And I want some dirt in there. It's looking kind of clean. It doesn't really make sense. So I'm gonna drag this down below the dirt layer and I'm going to add an anchor point to this layer. It'll be called alpha. And on the dirt layer, I'm going to find the generator, go to the properties and under micro details, I'm going to turn micro height to true and micro height down here. I'm going to select the anchor point, the alpha, and I'm going to switch the reference channel to height. And if that's a little too much, I'm going to come into the levels and I'm going to play with this. And I should be able to reduce the amount of dirt in there just something like that so we have that piece in there as well okay that might have been stamped a little bit too low as well but uh, you know that's all right all right and the final thing I think I'm going to do is put an emission on this as like a like a bit of a power light or something so all that's good uh, I'm going to create let's do this as a fill layer and i'm going to have color but i'm also going to want emission and i don't have an emission there so I'll come up here and i'll hit the plus and i'll add emissive there it is i can add that now let's uh i'll just right now I'll change that to like a red color and i'm going to put on a black mask i only want that in this spot here i'm going to switch over to um yeah uv chunk and that's why i put the the um that's why I, i'm not thinking straight here that's why i put the uh, edge there mark seam seam that's what i mean uh, okay uh, i actually kind of like that with not too much going on not too much emission i mean i can come over here and i can up the emissive intensity of course what i really need to do is on the emission itself uh here I need to change this to get it to glow. And then if I do this, you know, I can get more or less. Um, I might just go with that so it's not in too much in your face, but you just see that there. Now, I could put some scratches on this, I suppose. So let's call this missive. And I'll come to a new fill, just use height, we'll just drop it down just a little bit. And we'll add a black mask and a fill. And in the grayscale, I'll search for scratches. And I don't want too much on here. I just want it sort of to match the speaker. So drop that down quite a bit. Increase the contrast, decrease the width and even the length. And, you know, you'll just get one or two little things here or there. Maybe I'll bring the balance up a little bit. Um, you can see them showing up. Now, if I switch this to 2K, they may become quite a bit more evident. See the way they're much more evident now? So I'm going to decrease that again. And just have a couple of nicks out of it here and there all right I think that's good enough barring uh, doing other effects on on the actual 
different things. So I'm going to save this and we'll export the textures. Focus on that and I'm going to call this new material tunnel project TV. There we go. Okay, I guess I had one in there before. So that's fine. Uh, so let's go to texture test. I, I think this is the one. No, it's not. It's the one with the emissive. It's this one here. So let's just grab all of that. Yeah, okay, that looks right. And I want to check my scratches. I think they look right. I think we're okay. Um, they look like they're going in rather than coming out. If not, I have to mess around with the normal. Uh, but I think I'm doing okay with uh, letting the normal represent the bump here. As you can see here, well, maybe that does. No, that's indented and then it comes out. Yeah, it's hard to tell sometimes. Let's do a little experiment here. Let's get rid of the displacement because I'm not going to be using cycles. I'm going to get rid of that. <clears throat> let's try this. This displacement one, let's actually load the height here. And non-color, let's use a uh, vector bump. Put that there, drag the color into height. And let's detach the normal here. Let's let that go. Okay, all right. And let's attach this, the vector bump there, and see if we get a different effect. I might be using height more. It's going to be pretty strong. You know what? It looks pretty much the same. I'll just reduce this. 0 0.2 for the moment. Yeah, it does the same kind of a thing. So I'm going to go back. I'm, I'm satisfied with using the normal uh, on this. So I'm just going to uh, drag that back in there. But I will use, I'll get rid of that. I will use this. Uh, I'll come over here. I'm going to press N. I'm going to change the name to Emissive. And, and to close that. And I'm going to get that light to shine a little bit more. I'm going to load the Emissive image. So there it is, and it's color. And that's going to get plugged in to the emission strength there, or to the emission, sorry. Just right above it, emission. Changed a little bit, and if I want to, I could boost this. Let's see how that looks. Well, there you go. See, it came in. Let's, uh, although this is just my little test area, I'll turn on that stuff, uh, and you can see, you can see that. And of course, I could do effects along here if I wanted to change the color or whatever. Let's come back to the layout. Let's just save. Let's have a look. And there's the TV. And if I slash key, I've got the, of the textured. Let's hide that one. Of the two textured ones, I've got the speaker in there, and I've got the TV. So that's what's what it's going to be for the time being. I can always go back in and edit it. I can put a graphic on here if I want, but we will see. And as I look at it here, I may want to reduce the uh, the edge wear a little bit. It's a little bit strong uh, in this particular lighting. It you know may change in in different lighting effects. You know, or different lighting situations. See, it's very subdued there, although it's pretty dark anyhow. So. All right, well, we're going to leave it at that for now, and uh, I'll be back, and we will work most likely on, um, I'll get rid of the old TVs, and I will make sure that this is arrayed, all right, just to show you that this can array down here, I'll zero that out, and that will come sort of like that, we'll get rid of that one, and then these TVs will be arrayed, probably something like three of them, and I'll probably rotate them. And that's the situation we've got. All right, so in the next video, look forward to this stuff, which I'm calling the electrical. All right, take care.